Hey, UConn Nation, welcome to another episode of House of Champions. I'll be your host today, Game Day Connor, and right now I'm standing outside of Moroni Stadium. Just over my shoulder, you can get a peek at Elliott Ballpark, and today we're gonna take a look at the RZA Performance Center. Let's go check it out. This facility is home to five of UConn's teams, lacrosse, women's soccer, men's soccer, softball, and baseball. Let's go check out the batting cages. This climate controlled indoor facility means that our softball and baseball players can come here and get one-on-one -on -one coaching and training year round. There are five tunnels, so whether you need to work on your pitching or your hitting, RZA is the home to do that 12 months out of the year. Fortunately, I played three years of Little League and now I get to see what I still got left in the tank. This microphone got in the way. <laughs> and now let's see how the student athletes take advantage of the batting cages. What's up UConn, I'm Corey Morin, a junior outfielder here at UConn and today I'm going to show you how we use the uh, cages here at RZA Performance Center. This is the hit tracks, it reads the ball, puts you on a field, shows you exit velo, launch angles, all that good stuff. Just warm up, get the body loose step by step. This is a self-feeding hack attack, turn it on. Load up to the hopper with like balls. This spins, comes down here, feeds about every six seconds or so it feeds. Then you can do all types of pitches, curveball, sliders, lefty, righty, fastball. This thing kind of has it all. So this is just like seeing v low, getting used to like game speed type of stuff, and just trying to simulate as much as you can, like high velocity. That's all I got. Thanks for joining me in the batting cages. See you next time. On the first floor of RZA are all of the team's locker rooms, but right now, we're gonna go take a look at the weight room. I love that when you come into UConn's athletic facilities, you're greeted with messages of success that inspire you to work harder and achieve more as a member of UConn Huskies Nation. Everything UConn Huskies need is right here at this fueling station. Food and beverages provided during the course of their workout to make sure they stay in top shape. As we make our way down this hallway, each of the five teams have their student rosters as well as their coach's CV represented on this wall. Katie Woods with lacrosse, Coach Penders, of course, with UConn Baseball, Head Coach Chris Bondi of men's soccer, Coach Laura Valentino from softball, and Coach Margaret Rodriguez Mags with women's soccer. So here we are in the press box. This room is super cool. Not only do you get a great view of Moroni Stadium for the game that's going on, but we also have the radio and video broadcasters that will be in here. And maybe the coolest place in this facility, in my opinion, is the video control room. If you're watching any UConn game on a platform like Flow Sports or ESPN Plus or UConn Plus, there's a good chance that that game is being produced and broadcasted right from the state-of-the-art control room. How cool is that? All right, camera one, cut to program. Pinch hitter, pinch hitter, hang on, switch it, switch it. New graphic, get, get closer on game day. Love it. <laughs> and also up here on the second floor of RZA, we have some of the administrative suites and the coaches' offices. Here in this meeting room, players from all the different sports can come, get together, watch film, and go over their strategy for the next matchup that they have. We're back on the field at Moroni Stadium. Thanks so much for allowing me to take you on a behind the scenes tour of the RZA Performance Center. That concludes today's episode of House of Champions. We'll see you next time and as always, let's go Huskies. Yeah.